Hey guys, welcome to Shark Gaming YouTube channel. As you all may know, we're getting sub selections this Sunday or Monday. It all depends. It's Sunday for me, but Monday for you guys. It all depends on your time zone. The two clubs that we'll be getting club selections for are Inter Milan and Roma. Today, I'll be talking about Inter Milan and telling you guys why you should or should not purchase the players. With Inter Milan, I basically have every single one of these players. So I've already tested their base cards. See, now this is a club selection. It's not like Konami is going to um, give you a card that's worse than a card that they already have out there. They're not going to make a featured card worse than the base card. So either it's going to be just the same or it's going to be better. So let's first start with Skriniar. As you may know, Skriniar is a center back. Build up play. He He's 93 rated and Max is at 98. You look at his stats down here. I can attest to it. He's actually one of the best defenders in the game. As I said, he's build up play. I use him because he's very versatile. You can use him in both left back and centre back. Occasionally right back as well, but his rating isn't that high in, in right back. He his heading is really really good. 99 heading and his defensive awareness is 99, balling in 99, 98 aggression. Obviously, these stats don't apply for when they're scripting in the game. But if you don't have a Van Dyke or a Varane, then Skriniar is the best option. Or this is why you should go for Skriniar because he's a very good option, especially for build-up play. Build-up play defense. And as I said earlier, you need a partnership in defense, meaning that you need one of each so it's either you have a destroyer and a build up play a destroyer extra front man or extra front man and a build up so having screen here is really really good even if you have him on bench at least you can sub him on for um an out of form left back or a center back as i said the stats are really really good still build up play heading man marking fighting spirit and as i said earlier he can still play left back and right back so Let's move on to the next player. The next player is Handanovic. Handanovic is 92 rated and Max is at 95. He's a 35 year old keeper, but in my opinion, when using him, using his base card, Handanovic is actually one of the best keepers. It's just that when he's off form, he's actually off form, meaning that he's horrible. So you just have to look out for that. Uh, everything else, like an unformed Handanovic, is a very teeth player, meaning that like nothing really gets past him. So, yeah, like, it's a very good option to go after. Handanovic is a very good keeper. And, like, even though he's a defensive goalkeeper, he has certain traits and styles, like high punt and long throws that can assist with, like, when you're about to do counters. So the next player is actually my favorite in, in the whole pack, Romelu Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku is 91 rated and Max is at 96 my opinion of using the base player is that he's one of the best strikers in the game his first touch obviously just like in real life isn't really the best but at the same time his finishing is 93 and his offensive awareness is 93 and he's a fox in the box type of player he's actually one of the best poachers in my opinion and he's always lurking in the box so he'll always find a way to get an opportunity and as i said his heading is 93 so if you're somebody like me who prefers um, managers that attack wide and crossing the ball with that want to be low pass or um lob pass the lob pass will more than likely if Lukaku gets on top of the lob pass more than likely will score or at least it will go on target um Lukaku is very thief because when you get a one-on-one -on -one chance and you do a control shot it's either you're going to get an outside curl or a low a low shot and majority of the time it scores it just depends on the position and he also has the driving shot and some long range efforts as well so you don't even have to go into the box with him and his curling is really really good as i said earlier outside curl is one of his traits uh, so i feel as if he's one of the best strikers in the game you can also use him on left wing or right wing it all depends on like the purpose and who else you have in strike so moving on again we're going to go to brazovic Brozovic is 90 rated, Max is at 94. He's a central midfielder, but uh, but at the same time, he's not really that appreciated. 
He does 90 passing overall. He has curlers weighted passes and through passes, meaning that he's very accurate with them. He's more like a playmaker, but he's a box-to-box player. So, And his stamina is up, so he can run the entire game. He's also a long ball expert. So if you have strikers up top like Lukaku, Hallam, Martinez, even Jovic, and you see them making a run, and Brozovic had the ball of his foot, then more than likely he's going to get it them in, a, in the most accurate way possible. So yeah, he's very underrated, I guess, because he's like getting old. But yeah, his his passing is really, really good, and he can also slap curls. He's not really the most desired player, meaning that I wouldn't really go for him. But if I get him, I'd still be grateful. I still wouldn't really use him because I have Scholes and Pogba and Beckham. But if I didn't have any of those players, I would most definitely use him on a regular because I use him sometimes in different sides. But yeah, you can also use him in attacking mid defensive mid can use him on the wings as well but he's not really that effective right there he's more effective where attacking mid and defensive mid are concerned so moving on we have latura martinez one of the most promising young strikers there he's 90 rated and max is at 97 he's like a younger version of lukaku basically with the same explanation he's a poacher so that he makes some very good runs and his heading is his heading is 90 and his jump is 88. So, I mean, at the same time, he if you're crossing the ball to him, he's going to put it away um, like six out of ten times. Because, you know, with Konami, it's not like every shot you take is going to score. But if you're looking for a young striker that can hold his own, then he's really, really good. I'd prefer using him in a, in a counter-attacking formation with short passes. Because he's good with the 1-2. And when he makes the run, he just threw a pass it to him. And majority of the time, like, he has curlers. So, and he has a lot of skills that you can use, like the martial turn, cut behind and turn, first time shot, acrobatic finishing. Like, one time he scored a bicycle kick out of nowhere, and I was there like, wow, that's really, really good. So, if you're looking, if you don't get Lukaku, just hope that you get Martinez, because both of them are good. The next player that we have is Kandrevo. Kandrevo is actually... One of the most underrated players in the game, meaning that like I've actually fallen in love with his card because I really know what I'm like to explain it. He's 87 rated and he maxes at 92 and he's a whole player, meaning that like he looks for all the spot. He runs into space and creates more opportunity for everybody. So it's like he draws out other players from the opponent side and find passes and make them. So Kandreva is like really really good he's very very underrated like i prefer to use him on the wing like i sometimes i use him in center mid sometimes i use him in right mid sometimes i use him in right wing i prefer to use him at right wing even though he's going to be i think 89 rated on right wing the reason why i like to use him on right wing is because he has pinpoint crossing and early crossing and his stats are really really good but when i use him like central he has like some very very good kicking power so He's gonna like get the ball where he want it to do. So even if he doesn't score the goal, it's either going to go for a corner or it's gonna bounce off like the keeper and go to one of your pouches that are there and it's gonna score. He's like the old version to like a Kevin De Bruyne. If you get just trust me, he's very, very good. Like if you cross with him ten times, seven of them are going to be accurate. He's very, very good. He's a bit slow though. Like I think it's eighty five speed. 89 speed but at the same time let's be real almost everybody in this game has like 90 at speed you no know? so especially the defenders so if he's going up against alfonso davis he's not really going to outrun alfonso davis on the wing so but if you can get him past the defenders then he's going to be very 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 effective so yeah this is why i think you should get him so the next player is ashley young 87 rated max is at 91 Ashley Young, as we all know him from Manchester United, he's like one of the most versatile fullbacks out there, even though his stats don't really say it. As when I use his regular silver ball card, he's really, really good, especially for a silver ball, because I can use him as left back, right back, centre back. I can use him left wing, right mid. I can use him even as a striker. He won't really be that effective in strike, but I can use him there. His finishing is really, really good, and his dribbling is really, really good. 
His heading isn't there, but his aggression is good. And his passes are really, really good. And he has 90 curler. You can also use him in set pieces like corners and um, free kicks. So, I mean, and he's fast. So, on the wings, he's going to get the ball where you want it to go. And he'll get past most defenders. And he has, the early, he has the early crossing and pinpoint crossing traits. And he's a very versatile player, as I said before, because he doesn't only play defense. He can play center mid, attacking mid, right mid, left back, right back. So yeah, he's very versatile. Obviously, he wouldn't be a first choice left back for anybody at all. But if you get him, you put him in your squad and anybody at all is off for him. He can virtually cover for anybody in the game. So, I mean, why not use him? Think about it. Last but not least... When he's Bastoni, he's one of the youngest center backs in the game, and he's very promising. His base rating is 85, and he maxes out at 95. His next card is 74, as in his base card is 74, and he maxes at 88. And I've used it a lot of times. 99 heading is very very good. But the thing is, he's probably the only player in the pack that. He's a destroyer still, like he has a destroyer trait, but he's probably the only person in the pack that doesn't really catch my eye, basically. Like, he's the only player that I wouldn't want to get because all he does is offer defensively. He doesn't really offer, he doesn't really offer anything going forward, even though you might see low pass right here is 87. I don't really agree with that. His physicality is good, but like I feel as if he needs to show more in person first so that konami can collect that data and add it to the game but he's not really that effective in the game to me at least so i'm really having problems to say you know yes i want this guy to be on my side but no he's a destroyer and he has 99 heading so i mean he's good in like for set pieces but that's about it really like, defending is gonna be getting everything like aerial wise but what about like ground balls you get me but yeah guys don't really he's the only player that i don't really want to get but as it relates to this the inter pack is probably the best club selection pack you can ever get so i feel like everybody should try to open the inter pack at least three times because if you get three different players you're gonna get three useful players that you can use in your side so i really hope that this was helpful for everybody don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I'm out.